It's all a guy really wants, right? Great physique, girls, money. Gotta be happy when you have those things, right? Take me for example. I had it all. I was this famous YouTuber. Millions of views a month. This pseudo fame. All these girls thinking I'm famous. This new money, like I had no idea what to do with. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Happiness is perhaps the most highly sought after goal in our life. This is the goal that every one of us strive to achieve throughout the life. The goal of happiness, tranquility, peace of mind, contentment and freedom from worries and anxiety is what each of us is wishes to achieve. Famous YouTuber Connor Murphy having 2.4 million subscribers on YouTube and half a million on Instagram suddenly deleted all of his videos. People were shocked. Why? What was the reason? He had all the money, best cars, best house, best life. Most people are dreaming the life he was living. But still he left everything and he's currently looking for spiritual happiness. He was not happy at all. Subhanallah. So recently he also approached our brother Muhammad Hijab to explore the meaning of God in Islam. I highly recommend you to watch that podcast. Inshallah it will be beneficial for you. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of the MH podcast. I am joined with a spiritual guide, a very important YouTuber, Connor Murphy. How are you doing, Connor? I'm great, man. How are you? Not bad. Connor Murphy got in contact with me through Instagram and he was telling me that, you know, he's been watching some of my material and um, that he wants to explore some of the ideas about Islam and the concept of God and so, so on and so forth. So we want to get straight into it. Um, now let's listen some words from Connor. Why did I delete all of my old videos? Well, literally, just so you will watch this video. So my old videos are used by many for motivation to get in shape, get a good physique, and get girls. It's all a guy really wants, right? Great physique, girls, money. Gotta be happy when you have those things, right? I want to make this video to save you time, time and energy. Because right now, you are chasing your tail. You are looking for happiness in places where happiness cannot be found. Take me for example. I had it all. I was this famous YouTuber. Millions of views a month. This pseudo fame. All these girls thinking I'm famous. This new money, like I had no idea what to do with. Seems great, right? All these things that I wanted when I was a kid. All these things I didn't have. You know, I was a shy, introverted loser. Couldn't get a girl, no respect, no popularity whatsoever. And somehow, it, like a movie, this transformation into this perfect like material life from my perspective. How much happier do you think it made me? 100% happier? Maybe only 50% happier? And maybe only 30% happier? No, 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 no. Zero. Zero percent happier. In fact, I reached this point of success, the great physique, the girls, the money, and I became depressed. Why? Because I had accomplished exactly what I thought that it took to find happiness. And at that moment I realized it didn't work. Think of how depressing that is. All you want to do is find happiness and you have a plan and you accomplish that plan. Hours and hours, hard work, long nights filming and editing, staying up all night editing these videos, going against what my parents think I should do, going against what my peers at my college think I should do, making myself a laughing stock at my school, starting out this YouTube career, proving everyone wrong, and becoming this famous YouTuber with a bunch of girls, the life that everyone dreams of. Sounds like an incredible story, right? But it made me 0% happier. Because I accomplished all that and realized it didn't make me happier. And at that moment, I fell into the deepest and last depression of my entire life. You see, you will never find happiness chasing these external material desires. It is a never ending merry-go-round. It cannot end. Well, you're going to realize that it is not fulfilling. It's going to be fleeting. You might be a little happier for a couple hours, 
maybe a day, maybe a week, maybe even a month, but it'll fade. You can never be happy with this approach. It is actually impossible. Every single successful person that you think is living the best life, if they have not gotten there through first purifying their internal world, they're not happy. They're probably suffering more than you because they have everything. They have all the success just like I did and they will inevitably realize that they're not happy and fulfilled and that can send you into a depression. Subhanallah, in our culture, it is commonly believed that happiness can be achieved through accumulation of wealth, of material possession. The reason people have so much trouble attaining the happiness is that the true meaning of happiness is not understood well by majority of the people pursuing the happiness, just like Connor Murphy said. That is why the majority tend to attain the happiness end up without achieving true happiness. Despite having achieved all their set goals, they are in fact not happy. Statistics reveals that the highest suicide rates, divorce rates, run-ins with the law, drug problems and rehabilitation problems are always rampant in the rich and elite of the society. Subhanallah. From Islamic perspective, the happiness is not merely a temporary state of joy and delight. Rather, it's a lifelong process, aiming primarily at bringing eternal happiness, peace of mind, tranquility of heart, contentment in this world and everlasting bliss in the hereafter. Secret to achieving true happiness is to putting our trust in our Creator, who disposes all our affairs. We should believe that the all-merciful God plans that which is best for us. The state we are in currently is the best state for us. Had it was otherwise, all merciful would have not chosen it for us. Absolute trust in God is the root of contentment, and contentment is one of the great keys to happiness. Brothers and sisters, many times we are so lost in our problems and difficulties that we are unable to feel the joy and happiness in life. We do not see the blessings around us, the joy in the big and small things. We also do not see the capabilities in ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed us with. Allahu Akbar. Let's make an effort and train ourselves to see and feel the joy in our life. And let's find a reason to rejoice every single day of our life. True happiness does not come from material possessions. Everyone knows the phrase, money can't buy happiness. Fancy phones, big houses, and luxurious cars are just items, mere tangible objects of this world. We cannot find lasting happiness in the stores and online, so stop looking happiness in them. In Islam, we are taught to find happiness through God, adhering to His commands, building a close relationship with Him, and doing good for oneself and others, with an intention to please Him. That is what brings joy to the heart of a Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. Ameen. So that's it for today, brothers and sisters.